Hey everyone, my name is Michael. I'm the customer success lead at Xano. And in this video, I'm going to go over the Ably real-time chat demo, uh, which gives you the functionality uh, of leveraging Ably to uh, utilize a chat in your application. Uh, so once you install this template, um, there's a little installation instructions. It's pretty easy. easy. We're just gonna go to ably.io, create an account if you haven't. Um, once you do, you'll have to just create an app from your dashboard and get an Ably, Ably API key. Uh, once you do that, we'll just hit configure and enter this in right here as an environment variable. So if I just go to Ably, uh, this is what my dashboard looks like. You can see I have a few different uh, test apps here. So I'll just create a new one and we'll call this uh, demo, just say one, two, three. I'll hit create app. And once you do that, you're taken to this page where you get your private API key. So I can just copy this. Also, don't show this to anyone. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this API key after the video. Um, let's go back to Xano. Just paste this into your environment variable there and hit update. And that will essentially configure the extension. Uh, so now that the extension is configured, um, let's actually go through some of the different components of this uh, Ably real-time chat template. And then let's explore the live demo uh, so you can see how it might work uh, in a mock front end because Xano is just the back end of things. Sometimes we need to see both the back end and front end working together to really understand how something will be utilized. So if I jump over to the database here on the left side, you can see that this template includes three different database tables. Uh, we have our users. Uh, we have our chat room, which looks like is a title, topic, description, looks like a user ID, so a user creates a chat room. Uh, and then we have chat, and it looks like chat belongs, um, each chat belongs to a specific user and goes inside a chat room, um, and there's a message involved. So we can also show the table relationships very easily uh, to help us visualize that a little bit better. Um, but let's go ahead. Let's, look, let's go ahead and look into these. User is pretty simple. You can see there's some dummy data in here. Uh, so we can start playing around with the demo. Um, we'll go to chat rooms once again, title, um, topic, description, and just a user ID. And once again, as I'm going through this, all this stuff, you can customize it. You can delete fields, add fields if you need to. Um, and then our chat. So our chat each chat belongs to a user and goes inside a chat room. You can see with these table references, and then there's the actual uh, text of the message in there as well. Um, so let's jump to the API. And you can see this Ably API group, there's 18 endpoints. I won't go through them all. Um, you'll see you have your basic auth right here, which is sign up and log in. That's nothing unique. Um, what I do want to go ahead and look at especially is this add chat right here. So this add chat is what's going to actually be interacting with that Ably API. Um, real quick, you can go ahead, let's break down this uh, API endpoint here. So a user is going to uh, be authenticated into your application. So that means they'll be logged in, right? Um, they'll go ahead and put a text and then um, they'll be inside a chat room. So those will be the two inputs on your front end. Um, looks like we'll get the record from the chat room, also from the user. The user will be uh, based on the auth ID. Uh, we'll just make sure that the chat room exists with a precondition. If it does, we'll go ahead and hit the Ably um, API endpoint here. Uh, you can see we're inputting the uh, chat room ID right here into our uh, Ably API endpoint right there. Um, you can see we're setting different parameters, the user ID based on the authenticated user uh, the input of the actual message, the input of the chat ID. Um, and it looks like we're also putting in the user's name and ID in this user object down here. And you can see we're authenticating with basic uh, authorization here. There's our Ably API key that we set at the beginning of the video. Uh, we're encoding it and that will uh, leverage uh, Ably, Ably real-time chat. And then we're also just adding uh, the chat record to our database. Uh, for our own records. Uh, if you want to do that, that's going into that table called chat right there. So let's go back. That's really the main um, API endpoint that I wanted to show you. Most of the rest ones are just CRUD operations, so nothing too different there. Um, but let's go ahead. I'm going to copy the API base URL right here. You'll see why in a second, because we're going to go explore the live demo 
and you'll just need this group base URL to do that. So if we go back to the marketplace, and if we just select this first one, Ably Real-Time Chat, and we go over to the right and explore live demo, you can see there's just uh, some description of what's included in this live demo. The live demo is just a mock front end. It's not what your front end has to look like at all. Um, it's just something simple we set up so you can see how uh, these API endpoints might interact with each other um, coming from a mock front end to the Xano backend. So we'll go ahead and hit test with your Xano account. And in here, we'll put in our base URL in our API key. That's why I copied that base URL. Uh, so first, I'll just paste that in. And then the API key, I'll once again get that over here from Ably. And I'll paste that in. I'll hit update settings. Um, and now we're taken to um, this new look here. So first thing I might want to do is log in or sign up. Um, I'll go ahead and sign up as I'm a new user. I don't remember the credentials for that dummy data. And I'll go ahead and put info in here. And now that I have these credentials entered in, I'll go ahead and sign up as if I'm a new user. And now I'm authenticated into uh, our application. We can see there's a couple of the mock um, chat rooms in here. I could go ahead and type something in and go ahead and send that. I can create a new chat room, give it a title, a topic, and description. I can go ahead and hit submit. Uh, we'll see the new chat rooms created and I can start uh, typing messages in there. And so if we go back to uh, now Xano uh, and we go to our database, we can see that uh, my new chat room was created. And then also uh, those different chats in those two different chat rooms uh, that I sent there. So uh, that's it, about it for uh, Ably Real-Time Chat. Uh, once again, it's leveraging the uh, Ably API to uh, add chat functionality uh, to your application. Um, so hope that's helpful. Explore the live demo. Once again, it's, it's to show an example of how you might um, implement something like that in your front end. Yours might look a little more sophisticated, but it, hopefully it helps you give, uh, ho hopefully it helps you see more of the full story.